Hi there, Sign of Virgo. This is Kim here to do your next 48 hours. Hope you're doing really good. Let's get right into your reading. Asking your spirit guides and your angels to join us as we get messages for your next 48 hours. And I'm pulling from the Spirit Animal Oracle deck today to start your reading off. So give us some good messages. Messages for Virgo. Oh, I have Wombat Spirit. Be at home. 68. Be at home. Be at home. Home is where the heart is, right? So maybe it's talking about that. 68. Okay, and then let's get into the good tarot. The good tarot for... Hmm this sign of Virgo. Alright. What's the issue? What's the issue? Three of water, five of air. Feeling a little bit conflicted regarding either friends or a get together or possible reunion. It feels like being pulled in every direction. And so maybe that's the one, but that's spirit saying, hey, we'll go be at home or do something at home. It might be a get together. It might be like, hey, choose your house. I don't know. It might be something like that. Let's get spirit advice. Whoa. Spirit advice. Yeah. Okay. Good communication. The eight of fire is spirit advice. So the advice is to communicate clearly, um, properly, loudly, perhaps, or just making sure that you get your point across. Uh, with the eight of fire, it's quite an achievement. So... You could feel, I don't know, you could feel possibly conflicted within your group of people, of someone or people that don't communicate as much as you would want or something like that. It might be that. Sun energy. Beautiful. The other piece of advice from Spirit is the sun energy. Which is guiding energy, illuminating. Um, it, it fosters growth here on the planet. So, um, and it shines. It's shiny. So it is shining for you. Tell me about more advice. Give me another piece of advice. Three of fire and the six of fire. Your desire. Six of fire. This good. Six of Fire is a good energy. It has to do with um, having a big celebration. Not just you, but celebrating the journey and the trip that maybe you and your friends have been on. Um, wow, yes, it is that celebration. Whether you feel conflicted or not, it's still a celebration. And I think that's the main point. Good communication, too. Tell me about an outcome energy here for Virgos. King of Air. Nice. Good communication and doing it in a, in a manner that you feel like is by the book or in the manner that uh, makes you the expert of this outcome, right? All right. So meaning like you know what you're doing, basically. <laughs> you know what you're doing. You got the King of Air. All right, tell me about the three of water. Five of pentacles. Somebody feels like an outsider. That's what that means because it's with the three of water. So, yeah, somebody feels like they maybe aren't invited or haven't been invited or feels like an outsider. Um, 
also it could be about somebody going through a temporary like financial thing might be reaching out for assistance or something like that tell me about the five of air the eight of cups okay feeling conflicted on which way to go because one direction as your Eight of Cups, but in your mind, you know that in the other direction, there is the Ninth Cup. And the Ninth Cup in the Tarot is the wish granted. It's talking about which way do you want to go to make sure that you um, get what you want, right? Tell me about the Eight of Fire. Six of Swords in the reverse, you're revisiting a situation and that's why communication is really important because you may be revisiting a family member or a friend in, in a reunion and going back is the issue. Tell me about the sun energy. And there's your nine of cups. I told you you're going after the ninth cup. Yeah, you just need to communicate clearly what it is you want to be enlightened about or what you want the sun to shine in your life about. And there it is, the Nine of Cups. Tell me more about this trip that everyone's going on or um, journey or expansive growth. to do with the empress energy it's something that you are absolutely creating it can be with somebody else this can be about motherhood this can be about whatever it is that you're the empress over meaning over all queens to the empress tell me about the king of air the queen of swords these two um, are a really good couple. That would be a divine couple, right? And they make excellent friends, too. Um, sitting in your truth, going after what you're really wanting, and uh, being focused. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords energy here. What to be focused on. What should Virgo be focused on? The moon energy in the reverse. You should be focused on the things that you feel like might be hidden from you or that you can't see. What will help them with this or doing this? An offer, unexpected possibly marriage proposal or business proposal or apology possibly. So that might be what you feel like is hidden from you. Uh, an apology so you may be wanting an apology you might be looking for that um, but in any way it's movement and it's an offer and it's part of the journey tell me more about the knight of cups the knight of wands it's a journey that you're passionate about and that you're going towards fast so it could be like you know guiding you to who you feel like uh, your ninth cup is nice underlying issue strength card on the bottom of the deck so this is the confidence to do this yeah confidence all right that's what i got for you virgo sending you love and light bye-bye